African tectonic boundary, or ours really isn't a boundary, it's in the middle of the African plate, because the African plate is splitting apart, but it's to represent um, a plate boundary to other kids at other schools because we don't have models and other schools don't have models and so us being able to create a model shows our understanding and it'll help other kids with their understanding of plate tectonics. This is the San Andreas Fault. It's around California. And one of the plates moves at a different pace than the other one. So by doing that, we made one channel bigger and smaller than the other. And the plate, these thingies, bigger and smaller than the other. Um, the sandpapers are supposed to represent earthquakes. <laughs> and, um, you gotta push it down. And then, when you push them, they move at different pace. This one moves faster. This one does move faster. What are you guys working on? We're working on like getting the plates to move and moving the plates together. What we're going to have is a circle. So to move the plates, we have a wheel connected to a rod here. And then we have paper clips throughout here. So basically, It'll be like a sort of a train wheel thing. The prototype's going a little bit weird. But when it spins, it'll push the paper clips apart, which will move the So then we're gonna have a crank here so that we can turn the wheel. So now we're just doing the big model. So we have our wheels ready and everything. And then when the plates move apart, it'll pull up. Part, which would be the magma. So it would be representing the bridge, the Red Sea.